here and just just checking the posture being kind to ourselves no on the back first to get up and a um, little bit of a space there um, golf ball and and the feet are shoulder width apart and there's a start position for the first exercise pushing the sky we're sitting on the invisible stool the knees are never bent the pelvis is relaxed the waist can move to the left the waist can move to the center the waist can move to the right and then back to the center and there's the invisible ball it's getting heavier, so the tension in the legs is increasing. There's pressure in the soles of the feet. And as I release my pelvis, the ball floats up. And as the ball floats down, there's more pressure in the soles of my feet. So release my pelvis, the ball floats up again. Nice big breath, nice big stretch. First thing in the morning, and there's the relaxation. Wings, the butterfly, breathing out. The shoulder blades go in the back pocket. The elbows release down, find the wrists, and there's the start position again. The ball's heavy. There's pressure in the soles of the feet. The pelvis is relaxed, and the ball starts floating out. The ball floats down, there's pressure in the soles of the feet, the shoulders are relaxed, the pelvis is relaxed, and the ball floats up again. Big breath, big stretch, and there's the relaxation response. Shoulders in the back pocket, elbows released down, and there's the start position. The next six rounds we'll do in silence. Fresh. Fresh. Push. Big breath. you're ready, come back into the room, there's no rush, take your time. <clears throat> By now your joints have been loosening, there's energy moving through all your joints. Second exercise, pulling the bow. Shift the weight to the right foot and the left is gone. Goes behind us, count to one and roll back slowly. Front foot's empty, there's the waist. Turn the waist. 45, clock, 
and there's nothing in the left foot. There's the heel, pressure in the back leg. Relax the pelvis and close forward. And there's the bone arrow. Put your mind into your left foot, pushing back, 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 back. Stroke your arm, stroke your chest, and there's the stretch for the heart center. Release. Waste Float back, there's nothing in the front. Release your pelvis, float forward, head bone and arrow. Relax the elbows. Mind in the left foot, push yourself back, back, back. Turn the waist, stroke the arm, stroke the chest. <coughs> There's the stretch for the heart centre. The waist simply drifts back, because there's nothing in the front foot. There's the waist, there's the heel. Use the waist to bring your foot to the mirror. Fill up the left foot. The right foot's empty. Goes back, count to one, roll back. Very, very full, very tense. There's the waist, there's the heel. The empty foot comes around to 45. Fill up the left foot. There's the right heel. Lots of tension in the leg. Release the pelvis and roll forward. There's the bone arrow. Elbows relaxed. Put your mind in your front foot. Push yourself back, back. Turn the waist, stroke the arm, stroke the chest. There's the heart center stretch. There's the waist, the waist drifts back because there's nothing in the front foot. There's pressure in the back leg. Feel the tension. Release the pelvis and float forward. There's the bow and arrow for the last time. Relaxed elbows. Mind in the front foot, push yourself back, back. Turn the waist, 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 waist. Tickle the chest, big stretch for the last time. <coughs> the waist just drifts back. There's the heel, there's the waist. Bring the foot back to the mirror. Fill up the empty foot and withdraw. Start position. There's the left palm. It wants to fall onto the right palm, but just before it does, it falls off. Right palm, right foot. Push the right palm, turn the waist to become double weighted, turn the wrist and push down and push up. For the third exercise, pushing the sky, pushing the ground. Next. And relaxation. Shoulder blades in the back pocket, elbows relax down, thumb comes down, body to the belly button, and the left hand wants to connect. Just before it does, the right hand falls off. Left palm, left foot, lift, double weighted in both feet, pushing the sky and relaxing the pelvis, pushing the sky and pushing the ground. Big stretch. And relax and quieten down. You're ready, come back into the room, there's no rush.
time. Coming more into the fall prevention techniques, becoming single weighted. So there's the right cheek in the moment it touches your shift to the right foot. And look, there's nothing, nothing in the left foot. We're confident because we're fully weighted in the right leg. It's completely straight. We do a little bit of a spunk drop there. We're weighted at the heel and bring the foot back. You can gently raise your left, touch the left, and shift over to your left foot. And look, the right foot's gone. Just nothing there. Bit of a spinal stretch, drop the arm. There's the heel, there's the waist, bring it back. Finally, there's the right, as soon as you touch it, but you shift over to the right, the left foot's gone. Just nothing there. Spinal stretch, drop, waist, heel, come back. Finally, the left shift to the left, the right foot's gone. Spinal stretch, drop, waist, heel, come back. All depends on being completely single weighted and having the confidence to become single weighted. It's the basis of fall prevention in this class. Sitting on the invisible stool, having a nice, relaxed, pelvis. The knees are never bent. Okay. You just have to unlock them and then you sit on the invisible stool where you can go to the left, to the centre, to the right, using your waist to the back to the centre and palms on the thigh. Sit on the invisible stool, bend your waist one inch and we race track to the left. As the hands, as the palms go up and down, all the way to the waist, at the knees. As we do this, we notice as we're going to the left, we notice it's the right shoulder that's doing a vertical circle. Shoulders like to be rotated eight times to the left and sit, sit, sit on the invisible stool, tilt one inch and then we race track to the right. And the hands go up and down, up and down, up and down. About eight times. One of your shoulders will be better than the other. It tends to be the way. You know, and if you've got any niggles, you can do this exercise very slowly. And then sit, sit, sit. The middle finger comes, push with the soles of your feet, come up and to the sides, and that is perfect posture. You can move your waist in any direction, perfect posture, just for a few seconds, and release. Loosen up. The seventh exercise is forming a, a fist, but very, very loosely with a relaxed wrist. There's the little egg, in the middle of your palm. You don't want to break it as you form that fist, tucking your fingers in and the thumb goes on top. And the right fist is on the right waist. You pull your elbow back and you get a bit of a stretch in, the, in this wrist area. And, and use your waist to send the fist out and then turn it over at the last second and maybe just give it a bit of a tense, okay? And then pull it back, 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 and turn it upside down and back onto the right waist. The other, the other palm has got a leg in it. You don't want to squash it. You make that perfect fist to that shape. And this fist is out there in front of your solar plexus. And what happens is that the other fist comes out tap, they both turn over, and then you withdraw the left onto the waist, and pulling your elbow back a bit. And we interchange. We use the waist to push the fist out and turn over, and the other one comes back. We use the waist to push, both turn over, and it's the other one on the waist. And we count one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, whoosh, relax. So you can practice that at home, you can get better at it. Um, follow all those guidelines. There are benefits to each of these exercises. With this one, you're reversing while the other one's going out. One's going out, the other one's coming back in, and they're twisting. It's the final exercise, the full prevention exercise before we go on to the Tai Chi properly. Start position. If you shift the weight to the right, the left foot's empty and the heel goes out, as we roll forward, there's the zimmer frame, sitting on a saddle. Most of the weight's in the front, most of the weight's in the front, sitting on a saddle. The mind is in the left foot as we push back, 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 frame drops away, and double weighted. Shift the weight to the left, the right heel comes up, goes out. As we roll forward, shift the weight, there's the zip frame, sit on the saddle. There's nothing much in the back, just a little bit. Mind in the right foot, push yourself back, 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 frame drops away, and withdraw. Shift the weight to the right, the left heel comes up and goes backwards, roll slowly and feel the weight change. There's the frame. Sit, sit in the back stance. There's nothing much in the front. The mind goes in the left foot as you push yourself forward, 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 drop the frame. Shift the weight to the left, the right heel comes up, the right foot goes out and rolls back, and there's the frame, you're mostly in the back. The legs are very tight, very tight. Put your mind in your right foot, push yourself forward, 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 forward. And those are the eight exercises.